what is going on with 42 Doug and you? He, he clapped back. You said Offset ran his pockets in the studio. Well, that's not what I said. What'd you say? I said, you tried to leave the dice game. Mm. Offset wasn't going for it. He went outside. He was walking away. I heard. I hear Sharp say some old dumbass shit. What did Sharp say? Some about tapping pockets. He didn't know what that was. Well, maybe it is. I don't know what a bunch of little pimp shit he talk about. So a tapping pockets is like I'm gonna rob you, but it's like no, uh, metaphorically line, I'm like figuring out if you have anything to steal. Forty two Doug had a bunch of money in both his pockets. You know he got skinny jeans on, so uh-huh. bulging out his pockets. Offset didn't take too kind of him walking away from the dice game when it was offset dice. He was hitting 20, 15, 20,000. So you can't just walk away from the dice game? No. That's a violation? It, we're shooting dice. See, when we got there, this is the last day of the little baby tour. And I seen Offset pull up to the show. I'm like, Nev, let's get a song in with you and Blueface. He's like, get Pete to open the studio. We we'll do it tonight. When was this? This was 2019. Oh, okay. So things went bad after that with so Blueface and Offset. It was me, Offset. Doug, ba- Blueface, Doug, Lil Baby, Young Miami. 2019, 42 Doug's like not even famous yet, right? Not at all. He's just on the run with us. Right. Um, uh, Young Miami and Marlo, rest in peace. Mm. That was the lineup. Uh, we're doing venues like three to 5,000 seaters. Mm-hmm. So when I get there, I warn Blueface, don't go f- with them dudes on no dice game. Mm. He's, 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 he's professionals with this shit. Blueface go over there, 45 seconds, he lose 5,000. Mm. They betting 1,000 a row, 1,000 a side bet. Mm. Blueface come to me, uh, give me 10,000, negative. Let's, we're here to get in the studio and work. Let Offset do what he's doing. By the time he's done, he come here and lay your verse. Did you have $10,000 cash on you? We had like we had a whole bunch of money. We on, we on the road, a couple hundred on us. Wow. I just wasn't going to give it to him. Yeah. Right? Because I knew it wouldn't stop there. You know, he comes in, he's laying his verse, he's doing what he do. Uh, I believe Yachty, they might have been there that night. It was a full house. But when we got there, um, Offset was like 20, 25,000 in the Doug's pockets. By the time I come back 30, 45 minutes later, Doug is 20, 25,000 in the Offset's pockets. Now it's Offset's dice. You never been a dice shooter? You never got into this? No, I don't fuck with that. Okay. And we ain't doing that. So now it's Offset's dice. Right? And he say, fuck the thousand and shot, 5,000. Doug said, run it. Offset hit seven. Nigga, let's go another five. He hit again. He left him. He 10 back. He only got about 10, 15 of his money on the ground. Doug picks his money up and walks away. If it's offset dice, you can't walk away from the dice game. Oh, so like his turn his at turn. that moment. Okay. Because when you was into him, he didn't walk away. Mm. So I'm watching offset. Offset is in disbelief. That he would take off like that. Yeah. He picked up. It was like three or four of them, and they went out the back door. But there's not really turns. It's just Hold people on. take turns on who's throwing the dice. No, it's two people. They shoot. It's offset dice. Back and Until forth, he crap out. It's his dice. Crap out means what in this case? So if he rolled a dice, he hit eight. His point is eight. Okay. Right? He going to keep rolling till he hit eight, but the whole time, they side betting. Thousand out six, eight. He may roll a dice, hit a six, right? Or whatever the f- he, he went in on his side bets, mm. right? The minute he crap out, before hitting that eight, then this is Doug's dice. As long as he hitting his point, or he hitting 7 or 11 on the first roll, it's offset dice. So offset was caught in disbelief that he was caught to steal down with the dice. He's looking around and like, did this motherfucker just grab the money off the floor? And 42 no. Doug's basically a random person to you guys at this and point. Well, it's no. not like, oh, this is a big celebrity. 42 Doug is 42 Doug. You know, everybody always knew who Doug was. He had his respect going on in the streets. It was 42 Doug. Okay. I don't I don't think I right. know about him in 2019, but. So, um, he walks out the back door, walks out. I see it was like three or four people with him. He walk out the back door. He's in the back parking lot, side of the building. He's walking towards the gate. Now, QC Studios, that gate don't open on motion. Hmm. It got open from inside the building. Offset jumps up and trails behind him. Hmm. 
I come behind them. I got a few of the schoolyards with me because we on tour, right? You're looking out for Doug. I'm looking out for QC Studios. I'm looking out for Offset. I'm looking out for everybody because the studio's open because okay. of me, right? Offset walks right up, and Doug's walking away from him, grabs his left pocket. Some money bulging out of it. He didn't take the money out of his pocket, right? I don't know if he was attempting to take it or he was just trying to turn him around or what it was. Nevertheless, Doug ends up turning around. When he turned around, Offset five. In the face. Right in the face. I give it to five count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. You're counting what? No reaction from Doug. If y'all going to get down, y'all going to get down. Nigga, five, you get off. When I seen one, no reaction, now I get niggas is pulling out. Right? I grab Doug and see Doug, I don't know why he doing this. Didn't know why he robbed me or stripped me. Nigga, you at home. You signed a little baby, little baby QC. Mm. But nobody did a rob or strip you. Niggas wasn't a part of no thing about robbing and stripping you. You at home, nigga. You at QC Studios. It ain't that type of party. So I grabbed Doug and my right arm. I got three or four Doug homies right in front of me. The gate behind them. I got two cats with offset here. Another two on the right of me. And I got offset kind of right on the side of me. I tell Offset, go in the studio. His homeboys is like, F that. We in the A, whoop de whoop de whoop I say, set. P not here. Uh -huh. I'm calling the dog. It's on me. It's going to be held to pay in the morning. Go in the studio. Mm. Set, think about it. And you got to remember, this ain't no, it's a respect thing. You know, the Migos used to be in my Rolls Royce Wanting to go to Taco Bell, running the Taco Bell up to $200. I've never seen nothing like it. <laughs> These niggas know the whole Taco Bell menu like the back of the hand. $200 like fills the car at Taco Bell. Yo, <laughs> the fucking Migos was Taco Bell banners. It's a fact. It was nephew and them. So you got to remember, I go back with the Migos before the Migos of the day. So it's just a simple respect thing, right? Let me so ask hold you Hold on, no, 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 okay, no. We're going to finish it. I'll hold it up. So... Offset says, nah, Unc is right. I got to respect what he's saying. Mm. They go back in the building. I tell him, open the motherfucking. That's from Offset. See the date. Scroll down. Wednesday. That's Doug <laughs> doing his rant. What the fuck did Offset say to me? Why this N-word lying? Oh. <laughs> See, one thing about whack, I got the content. Read, I recited everything that happened. Right? <laughs> oh, this is man. a fact. Right? Oh, man. So, Doug's in my I was right. going to say, it's very telling that Offset hasn't reacted to this, but now, Nigga, now I yeah. see his reaction. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right? You see it, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm I got Doug, Doug in my right now. arm. Yeah. Doug's not in my arm under pressure. Mm. He's in my arm because if I got his people in front of me and they like that, I figure they not going to fire because he's in my arm. Right. And Offset them out of respect to me ain't going to fire because I'm there. Mm. So Offset them respect my wishes and go in the building. I tell them open the fucking gate. They open the gate. I ask Doug's people to go to the car. They hesitate. Right? I say, all right. Doug ain't fighting or struggling. We ain't got no issues. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to keep this building right, to keep Offset right, to keep any of these young black kids from getting killed tonight. Right? Because mm. everybody was, wasn't neither side no punk. If I got to call it, the only motherfucker punked out was Doug when he didn't respond to getting fired on. Mm. Right? But maybe the nigga ain't a fighter. He a little dude. I can respect that. He got a reputation that's cool. Right? So they walked out. I walked Doug to the gate, let him go, and they closed the gate. And from there, it was a domino of other things that happened, but that ain't got nothing to do with what actually happened that night. Was Offset predisposed to not have respect for 42 Doug because he's looking at him as signed to an op because of the Migos famous beef with Lil Baby that tore QC apart. So here you go with some dumb shit and ain't none tore QC apart because QC still standing together firm and tall, right? QC's fine. I'm just saying okay. their biggest artists but at you, one point but, had beef with each other and 42 Doug clearly had a side that was not offset you're side, missing right? the point. See, you sound like a dumbass. I'm just wondering if that I just predisposed you, him. I just told you that Doug that Doug is at QC Studios, and they're all shooting dice. Right. 
But he might have had a, an issue with him in the back of his I mind, right? Nothing to do it. See, what you don't understand is I'm asking a question. I'm not problem, telling you that's how listen, it is. The problems all started from that event. That's how everything that's started. That's how everything started. Wow. Was it no motherfucking issues? Okay. That's how it started. From that, Doug them got get back, whatever, and then something else happened, and then it led to the offset situation at the club. It started with this. that event. This is the nexus of all this shit. Wow. Now you got to ask yourself, if Doug, you didn't get robbed, which he didn't, uh -huh. nobody took your jury, which they didn't, you got to ask yourself, why did you retaliate? Why were you retaliating? Your jury wasn't touched. They didn't take the money you from got you. got punched. Bingo! But he's saying it never happened. See? What the f is it to retaliate? That's what happened. You were retaliating from the goddamn punch because your jury wasn't touched. I wasn't going to allow that. What made you want to bring this to the table? No, somebody just asked me about it. Uh -huh. See, you go to thing, bro. Check this out. The truth can never be considered disrespect. If a motherfucker asks me a question, I'm answering the question. As right. long as it doesn't incriminate or send a motherfucker to jail, no shit like that. It's just a motherfucking, uh, it's a, me answering the question. Mm. Some shit may be my opinion on the situation, which we all have one. Or some shit may be because I know. But you're not no dummy. It's only one reason why you would want to well, retire. I, I just read those offset texts, so I'm, I'm sold. I, you know, if, if, hey. Sometimes I don't know when you're trolling, but reading those texts, yeah. You want to read them all? <laughs> I mean, sure, yeah. Send me, uh -huh. send me the whole archive. Send me every conversation you've ever had with Offset. I'll go through it and I'll make a Yo, YouTube video. Let me show you how real this is. <laughs> let me show you how real this is, right? Let me use a steal your phone. No. <laughs> let me make a YouTube Hold videos on. for years. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I can show you just prior to that Offset cussing me out. For what? Because of the blue face shit. Mm. Cussing me the fuck out. Going crazy on me. But no love lost because when the Doug thing came up, he was... No, but it's going to lead to this. What does he say? You my what? You my uncle. These texts is crazy. Get me out. Mm. Okay, then. Now, when this occurs and he hears it, he so this ain't no. See, my relationships with people be authentic. I, you you looking at it. He going crazy on me. <laughs> you guys just arguing all day. Arguing every day. like a motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you, fuck you, bro, because I'm getting mad because he blaming me for some shit ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> you said... N word, please kill all the super gangster talk. He goes, stop hitting me, OG. All love. <laughs> what was that about? Because he was talking crazy. Like, if you keep reading, he was talking crazy, but he was mad. He was emotional. He didn't know what to do. I'm in the middle of some shit. He felt like I get him. Unk, that's blue face. That's you. I can't, nigga, I can't. I woke up to some shit. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's fucked up. Can, when you tell people, it'd be really that shit in my phone. I just don't say nothing. All right? So at the end of the day, this ain't no. He ain't been talking to me for a bite. Mm. But when he seen it, he like, why is this nigga lying, blowing up his kids? I'll admit that you just ended the podcast on a high note for me personally. Because I thought that we weren't going to do any better than the first 20, 30 minutes of this. But that was, you fact checked it. It's a lot of shit. I just don't say nothing. But for the people, if I'm speaking, it's because I can. Now, oh God. I could have been fucked up. Mm. But I'm my brother's keeper. Yeah, there's a lot you didn't say about that story, but yeah, important details. You but know. I'm my brother's keeper because this camera's all around that studio. Mm. But I, I'll never reach to my brother to involve himself in something. Uh -huh. It's cameras at that studio. Right. They were reviewed the next day. Knowing WAC 100, I'm assuming you have the footage on your phone. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen. No, because... I didn't request that for my brother to send me that. Knowing Wack 100, you have some other dude who has it on his phone. Um, and you could hit him up for my it. My brother just went and reviewed <laughs> it to really see what went, what, what, what happened. Mm. So he could see, like, you know, I did what I was supposed to do to defuse the shit. But, like, I would never put my brother in the middle of that because you got other people. Little baby, I got nothing but respect for nephew. Mm. You know, QC and little baby is like brothers. So I would never say, hey, send me this because it ain't that serious. You know, if Doug want to run around, Doug got homeboys. Y'all know who y'all are. 
I ran into y'all, 3 4 y'all, Prime 112, South Beach, Miami. I'm on the curb for Valet. Mm. They walked up. They said, Whack, what up, bro? Doug told us what you did for him. We just want to shake your hand. Good looking out. Mm. So at the end of the month, Day, y'all know who y'all be like. I don't know what he owned. Maybe he need me for some uh, what I don't know. 